EO Staking and Voting for Rewards – A Step-by-Step -step Guide In this guide, we aim to cover the staking voting process and how to earn 2-3% yield with your EOS tokens. You can check current APY on our website everstake.one slash EOS. Why to vote? Vote for block producers to support their work for the EOS ecosystem. Vote for specific rewards proxies to earn up to 3% APY. You can use Anchor Wallet, Blocks.io, Jampool.io, EOSX.io or EOSAuthority.com to vote for a block producer or for a proxy. Block producers BPs, contribute to the EOS public blockchain ecosystem, support community programs and initiatives. You can get more information about Attic Lab BP on EOS Block Producer Research Portal. Staking Voting Create EOS Account if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one using EOS Account Creator or wallets. The service provided by the EOS Account Creator isn't free. You will be prompted to pay for account creation upon the initial steps of choosing the account name and generating public-private keys. If you want to create an account for free, use Wombat Wallet. Proceed to the website and choose the relevant version. The wallet is available on desktop, iOS and Android. Let's cover the desktop version in this guide. Install Google Chrome extension and open Wombat Wallet in your browser by clicking on the extension icon in the upper right corner of the browser. Sign in if you already have an account or click Sign up link. Follow the instructions and sign in with Google, Facebook, Twitter or Apple. Set a passphrase to protect your account. Choose EOS from the list of available blockchains. Click Create New Account or Import Existing if you have one already. In case you are creating a new account, proceed to choosing an account name and follow instructions. The name shall include 12 symbols A to Z and or digits from 1 to 5, lowercase Latin letters. Choose how you'd like to restore your account from the cloud if needed, with the help of Google Drive or Dropbox. Close the tab and start using the extension by clicking on its icon in the upper right of your browser window. Let's open a Wombat Wallet extension and start using your EOS account by selecting EOS. In EOS, the account name plays the role of your address for transactions. Feel free to copy it and share it with the sender when you need to receive tokens. Please refer to our Power Up guide if you need to power up your EOS account in order to make transactions in the network. Staking Voting for Rewards The amount of EOS staked is also your voting power. Only staked tokens contribute to voting power when you vote for block producers. Summarizing, stake EOS if you wish to vote and get returns. Otherwise, just power up your account for transactions. There are few web resources to use to vote for block producers or for a proxy in order to get rewards. We advise to use Blocks.io along with the Wombat Wallet for the simplicity of the process and clean UI UX. Let's cover how to vote for BP first and then for proxy. Vote for block producers. Don't forget, we vote for block producers to support their work for the EOS ecosystem. Open Blocks.io in your browser. You will be prompted to log in using the wallet. Let's use Wombat Wallet, since we have covered it already and it's really simple to use. Click on Login in the upper right of the window and choose Wombat. Upon logging in with Wombat, you may proceed installing Blocks.io app or feel free to cancel the installation since it's not required. Select Attic Lab EOS B in the Block Producers list and press Vote, a round button in the upper right of the screen. However, you may face an error message. User must stake before they can vote. To solve that, choose Wallet in the top menu and proceed to Stake CPU Net in the left side menu. You need to stake EOS in order to be able to vote and get rewards. Don't get confused, we don't stake to get resources for performing transactions, we stake to vote. Enter an amount of CPU and Net to stake in EOS. We use a small amount for CPU in our example, just for a reference. Also, keep in mind that you don't need to stake much Net resources. 0.1 EOS will be enough for that. Stake CPU to get actual rewards. Press Stake to proceed after you come up with the numbers. Sign the transaction in the Wombat Wallet extension. Enter your passphrase if prompted. 
If you faced an error, account has insufficient RAM, please proceed to the Buy Sell RAM section in the menu and purchase an amount of RAM required. The RAM is not expensive, a fraction of the token will be enough for that. Once you've staked the resources successfully, get back to the Vote button in the upper right. Simply staking won't bring you rewards. Don't forget to vote for block producer and or for a proxy that provides rewards in addition. Make sure you've selected the block producers you want, for instance Attic Lab EOS B. Press Vote button. Sign the transaction in the Wombat Wallet extension. Congratulations! You just voted for BP and this will support a block producer and help them benefiting the EOS ecosystem further on. Feel free to check the transaction status on blocks.io with the hash provided. Vote for proxy. Let's now cover voting for proxy via blocks.io. Type Everstake1 proxy in the search field and press the button Proxy to Everstake1. In case if you stake and vote for Everstake1 proxy, the yield is 2-3% and it will be applied to the total amount you staked. Sign the transaction in the Wombat Wallet extension. Congratulations, you have staked resources and voted for a proxy and will be getting rewards for the amount staked. Feel free to check the transaction status on the same resource blocks.io with the hash provided. To check the status of your stake, go to the top menu on blocks.io Wallet, Stake, CPU, Net, Breakdown How to unstake to undelegate your EOS, choose the Unstake tab in the bottom menu. Don't forget you need to wait 72 hours to be able to claim your fund. In the Unstake tab, enter the amount of CPU net you want to undelegate and press Unstake. Once the waiting period is over, proceed to the Refund tab in the bottom menu on Blocks.io and claim your EOS to have them available for transactions again. Find the link for this guide on Medium, as well as other helpful links in the description to this video. Thanks for watching.